happy, happy Wednesday. I got hair in my face. That's okay. I'm gonna make PPPP. So I'm gonna wait for a couple people to join because making PPPP all by yourself is b -b 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 boring. Okay. Let me get my bowl ready. Okay. I know people have been making PPPP. -p -p nope. PPP for a while. Old news these days. Who's making PPP anymore? That's like the trend of months gone by. I don't know what we're stuck on right now, but I love my PPP and I haven't made it for a couple weeks. I don't know why, I just haven't. It's because I've been making other fun things. And I know we have a lot of newbies on this page because I've been seeing a lot of um, new posts about the PPP being snotty. My PPP is never snotty. Comes out p -p 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 perfect every time. So I thought we could make it together. If you already know how to make PPP and you already make it lovely, perfect texture, then that's okay. You can watch anyway. It's dark in here this morning. I feel like there's no, well, that's because it's dark outside. That's because it's still night. I feel like there could be more light. All right, well, that's all I got, that tiny little light. <laughs> uh, do you guys like my red ne redneck vent cover? How many times have you guys noticed that, this thing? It's where everybody's probably water. Why does she have a dirty towel on top of her microwave? It's because the vent, when it vents, blows like grease and stuff. It was all over my ceiling. I was tired of it. So we put that redneck vent hood up there. That's how we roll up here in Maine. All right. I don't know. There's peanut butter on my clean bowl that I just took out of the... There's peanut butter on my clean bowl that I just took out of the, 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 the cabinet. And I don't know why. <laughs> Should I be concerned? Probably. Am I? No. Okay. Somebody say good morning or something stupid. Just so I know that you're there and can hear me and I'm not talking to my walls. <laughs> because although my walls like to hear me ramble, I'd rather talk to real people and I can't see any comments. So I wanna make sure somebody can hear me. I'm gonna stand here and say it until somebody says hi. I'm not seeing any comments. There we go, Cheryl, thank you. All right, okay, 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 okay. All right, let's make our PPP. I am gonna make peach, because I figured it was a good thing to make live, something that I've never tried before. I always make blueberry or cherry because those are my two favorite. But I thought I got some peaches that aren't frozen into a solid block yet. So now seemed like a good time to have them. But I'm gonna move you back. Not that you need to see me cut peaches, but let's see. Let me, let's do this. There, that's better. Anyway, I'm gonna cut them into some chunks because, geez, I'm crow, they're gonna fly all over my kitchen. I think they're gonna thaw better with some smaller pieces. Maybe I'm gonna cut them. Some of them are really, good night. Oh boy, I need a cutting board. Do I have a clean one? Probably not. Oh, what do you know? I do. The my hair is hanging in my face today. Yeah, some of them are a little. Oh boy, I'm gonna have hair in my oatmeal. The skinny ones are easy to cut. Holy moly! I'm gonna put like. 
I don't know if she puts a cup of blueberries and I know those are carby. Maybe, should I put blueberries in with it? Peaches and blueberries? I don't know, that's, a, that's enough. There's about three quarters of a cup in there. That's what I'm gonna go with. All right, let me stick these back in the fridge, freezer, so they don't turn into one solid chunk of peach. They will eventually, but I'm not gonna let it happen this morning. All right, so all I did is put my frozen fruit in my bowl. And I'm gonna move you over here to cook. I'm gonna move the unhealthy banana bread from your view, cause that's rude, and the donuts. <laughs> my husband's food and my bag of butter. There, now you don't have to look at the gross stuff in the background. <laughs> I'll move you a little closer. All right, so my measuring spoon. Check out these awesome measuring spoons that I got. Rhonda Current Video Watcher Extraordinaire sent me the link. Check these puppies out. How cool beans are they? They fit into my seasoning jars perfectly. Aren't they awesome? And they weigh a ton and it's got this little thing so you can level it off how cute is that because it's really hard to do that so instead you do it with this little tool aren't they the best cheryl they're so cool i am loving them all right they are heavy they weigh a ton so you get your workout while you cook your pp pp okay i need steel cutouts oh and they're way back i need a spatula So I think I need, I need a couple table. I wrote it down because it's been a couple weeks. So two tablespoons. Let's see, watch this. I can do it with this, but watch how much easier it is to get this tool out and flip it around and get it even and do this. It's so much easier than using my finger. See that? Now that, I tell you, that is an appliance helper or whatever, kitchen tool right there that everyone has to have. <laughs> oh, I can send you the link if you want, Sheila. I got them on Amazon. I've got a link. All right, what else? Uh, regular oatmeal. Where did I put that? I put that size behind you over here. Buried under my coconut and peanut butter. All right. Okay. Four tablespoons of regular oats. I don't know if it's supposed to be regular, but I, wait a minute. These are quick cut. These aren't my regular oats. Wait, yeah, wait, where's my oatmeal? I feel like, do I use Quick Cut? That doesn't seem right. Do I? That doesn't seem right. I usually use regular oatmeal. I don't remember having Quick Cut in the house. Where's my oatmeal for crying out loud? I never have what I need. Hold on, let me go look in the cat other cabinet. this is wrong <laughs> and I don't know where my oatmeal is that's what I do on all these videos I spend half the time hunting for ingredients I thought I had regular oatmeal I know I do I know I do you guys can enjoy the hunt go get a cup of coffee I guess okay so maybe I use quick cut I don't Today we're gonna to use quick cut oats in our PPP. And I don't remember if that's right or not because 
I don't know where my regular oatmeal is. I'm really puzzled right now. <laughs> PPP is so right, Bonnie. It's so right. But I would have sworn I was using regular cut oats. But clearly I haven't been because this is what I got. I can't think of any other cabinet it could be in. So it has to be this. They're probably somewhere weird like in my bathroom closet. We're gonna go with quick cutouts. <laughs> and it's probably gonna come out snotty and then I'm gonna know why everybody complains of snotty oats. All right, four tablespoons of regular oats. <laughs> I don't even know. Well, they're not expired, so they must be what I've been eating. All right, whatever. Moving on. Psyllium husk. My husband has still not fixed Michelle, and I'm not incredibly happy with him about it. But I'll get over it. All right, how much psyllium? I can't remember. I had this memorized for a while, but one and a quarter teaspoon of psyllium. There's even a three quarter teaspoon measuring thing, which I find comical because I never use that. So one, and we'll use the little quarter because it's there. I usually just eyeball it, but one quarter. And I'm, this stuff is wicked staticky. All right, one quarter teaspoon psyllium. All right, what else, what else, what else? Flax, that's my added fat. This is my teaspoon of added fat. So one teaspoon of flax. There. Look at all that crunchy goodness. It looks like a tree hugger's dream. Okay, so stevia. We gotta have the donk, the donkage. Two donks of the stevia. That looks like one ish. I'm running low. Two ish. All right. Whoa. That stuff tastes nasty when it sprays up in the air. Am I the only one that gets a puff of stevia in the face like that? Finds it a wee bit nasty. All right. Two pinches of salt. And here's the key. The recipes. Here's the key to unsnottiness, in my humble THM opinion. All of the recipes say you can get past the slimy carry. You watch this, it's not going to be slimy. This is the key to the not sliminess. Yeah, all the recipes say two cups, and instead of saying, it says use less water if you want, because two cups makes a lot. So from a THM mama brain who likes to eat a lot, I'm gonna read that recipe and go, well, I want a lot, so I'm gonna use two cups. Well, then I'm gonna have snot. Two cups is the snot factor in PPP. Again, in my humble opinion, that doesn't mean anything, but it means something to me. This is a three quarter cup measuring cup, so I'm gonna use a cup and a half of water a cup and a half is the perfect amount of water for not snotty PPP. So, one three quarter, two three quarters equals one and a half. Look at that fancy math on a Wednesday morning. And then I turn my heat up on high. And I'm gonna get my little whisker, my big whisker. All right, the other key to PPP is the whisk factor. You have to whisk the snot out of it. You gotta beat it up. Be, you own that PPP. I can't remember what to do next. <laughs> it's been a couple. I let it boil. You get it to a boil, 
then you get it to, yeah you get it to a boil and then you turn do you turn the heat down yeah you turn the heat down and you let it simmer for five minutes five just one five five minutes and you have to do the whole thing and you have to whisk it and then at the end you take it off the heat and you whisk it more you need to beat the living snot right out of it kick its butt not snotty perfect poop porridge what even is my life now right that should be the name of the recipe not snotty poofic poop perfect per <laughs> not snotty <laughs> perfect poop porridge that is every chef's dream to have a recipe that says that. <laughs> oh cinnamon I like cinnamon in my perfect poop porridge. And cinnamon will taste good with peaches, don't you think? I'm gonna put an ish in there. That just means put what you want, I don't care. I don't even care if you put cinnamon in it. Not gonna affect the snot factor, so it don't matter to me if you put it in there or not. Poofy pork por porridge. It's like a tongue twister. All right, it's getting ready to boil here any minute. It's getting ready to work its magic. It will go through a snotty moment, just like all of us did in our teens. It will go through its teen years of snottiness. And then it will come around on the other side as an adult version of the porridge without the snottiness because we all lose the snottiness at some point in our life or we should all right starting to boil okay so here's the magic turn the heat down a little turn on your timer for five minutes be specific with the perfect poops it's already getting the snot factor it's already going into its teen years of development right now which means mama needs to stir occasionally you don't have to stir for five straight minutes but when it starts to bubble and look like flubber then you need to whisk it yes 30 year old well even a 30 year old tends to have their i know it alls once you hit 40 then you do know it all so it's more 40 year old mortgage with a 40 year old porridge with a mortgage Yes. See, it's starting to look like flubber. It's getting these bubbles that look boogery. So if my daughter was up right now, she would be over on the chair gagging because she has such a weak stomach. If I even say the word booger in the same room with her, that's what she does. We watched an episode of Little House the other night where Albert was addicted to morphine and he threw up in the episode and my daughter spent an hour and a half crying and then the next day said she never wanted to watch Little House again because there was vomit involved and she, she can't handle it. She, and yet she's going to be an OB. She can look at, you know, prolapsed uteruses videos of cows, but she can't watch Albert puke on Little House. All right. Sorry. These videos, every morning I'm talking about poop or vomit. I mean, <laughs> welcome my cooking show <laughs> all right see uh, I want it to get its flubber bubble so you can see oh, watch I'll show you it's coming the flubber bubble is coming and that's how you know you're getting your this is that's the perfect poop part because it's it's gonna heal your gut see the flub can you see the flubber bubbles see them starting when it looks like something's speaking to you, then it's ready. And now I can't get the camera back. And somebody's going to send me a complaint message saying, stop moving the camera. Because that's what happens. People get mad at me. All right. Be angry with the porch. Get out all your frustrations with your husband on your porch. Say, he hasn't fixed my shelf yet. I gotta turn it down a little. You don't want it to get crusty. It's another happy word this morning. 
if you see it start to get crusty on the sides, turn heat down. My oven tends to run hot, so I usually gotta put it down on low. But, oh yeah, she's snotty now. That's how we know it's working. And that's also how we know it's not done. If you stop here, you are going to have snotty porridge. And then you're going to complain about it on the Trim Healthy Mama page and say, how do people eat PPP? Look at this snot. Well, that's because you didn't make it right, girl. you got to watch the KJ video and make it right. <laughs> Just take your frustrations out on every homeschooling bad day. Beat the PPP. You got a dentist appointment, beat the PPP. Anything, got you in a bad mood, make PPP and it all gets better. See, it's getting less slimy. It's getting there, I'm telling you. You just gotta be mad at it. I don't want your snot, go away. Still got bubbles. Whew. I'm out of breath. Whew. Ooh, that's a good bubble. Yeah, look at that. See that? It's getting perfect. Bonnie, you have no idea. I can kick some PPP porridge, but. I'm about to go crazy on it like I did that woman at Lowe's that time. All right. Just pretend it swore at your daughter in a bathroom stall. Then you will beat the crap out of that for it. <laughs> oh, 17 seconds. You gotta cook it the whole time. If you don't cook it the whole time, again, you're gonna complain on Facebook about snotty poop forage. Eight seconds. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. It's getting there. And we're done. All right. Then, this is also important. Set your timer for 30 seconds. And again, whisk the heck out of that. Don't stop. For 30 seconds, you're going to burn a whole bunch of calories. And you're going to beat more snot out of the PPP. And then you're going to thank me because your PPP helped you poop. I'm telling you, it works, you guys. Whoo, this is why I don't make it that often. Because I'm not prepared. Oh, yes. All right, let me move you back over here. Whew. Workout done. All right. Okay, so. There's my PPP. Whew. I can't do anything with my left arm, Christina. I, I, ever since I had shoulder surgery, I also lost all coordination. I can't do anything with my left arm. I would have flung it all over the ceiling if I tried to do a different arm. Let me move. I'm in a, let me, I'm in a weird angle. Let me try this again. Let me get over here. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so my PPP has a little bit of uh, softness to it. We're going to call it conditioner. See how it's smooth, but see how it doesn't string up like the ones on Facebook that people are posting. I'm standing right in front of my dirty dishes and the unhealthy banana bread. Let's angle differently. Okay. People show it on Facebook and it has like mucus hanging from it. Clear, disgusting, gag worthy snot if it has that you have not whisted enough that's all i have to say it should be thick but creamy see how it, it breaks it doesn't have snot hanging from it i'm sorry to all of you gagging that this is a disgusting cooking video but i'm being real here this is how you do it all right then it should plop if it doesn't plop if it strings it ain't done and if it doesn't stick to your pan, you know, like a toddler sticking to your leg, it's also not done. If it slides out too easy, it's not done. These are all my tips. 
All right, okay. I'm gonna let that sit there to harden. Then I spread it neatly, cause it should be thick. See how thick it is? It's like, it's not snotty though. It's thick and it's hard to spread. So you spread it out over your cold fruit. Make sure your fruit is frozen cause that also is gonna steam this. The heat from the porridge and the ice crystals from the fruit is gonna steam your porridge. Okay. It should look beautiful like this when you're done. This is also super important. This is not in the instructions and I don't know, but I think it makes a big difference. Take tin foil and wrap it tight for the steam to stay in. And then let it sit. I let mine sit for 12 minutes. Now we have to stare at each other longingly for 12 minutes. Bonnie, did you go away because you're so grossed out because of my description of snotty porridge and poop? <laughs> oh, so, it should be ice cold on the bottom. If you don't put frozen fruit in it, it doesn't get the same to me, in my, again, humble opinion. I'm no expert on PPP, sort of. If you don't put it on top of frozen fruit, it just doesn't work the same because it doesn't steam the porridge into like a cake. Bonnie, I challenge you this week to make PPP. Do it, girl. It's so yummy. Oh, I saw somebody comment on my shirt. Look at my new shirt. Jesus loves this hot mess. Isn't it the best shirt? in the history of ever. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's the best. I love it. All right, so we've got 10 minutes left. What are we gonna talk about for the next 10 minutes? You can all watch me pour my iced tea. Maybe I should have it, no. I was gonna have a cappuccino, but I think I'm gonna have an iced tea. All right. Let me get some ice, I'll be right back. I'm laughing to her watching you that my nursing baby is like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Sarah, when I used frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries, they were still partially frozen after sitting for 15 minutes. I don't like having hot porridge and partially frozen berries. Well, that's the excitement of PPP, that cold burst of cold berries and hot porridge. <laughs> you can nuke it, and it still it should be okay. I, um, where did you buy your measuring spoons? Prosperous, I bought them on Amazon. I will send you a link. It's noon here in the UK, ready to have my ass salad. Noon? That's weird. <laughs> oh my God, I feel so, st feel so weird. When people are ahead in the clock, for me, I'm not, I'm not okay with that. It freaks me out knowing that it's noon there already. Like, that's just bizarre. <laughs> you should get up earlier and just fix your clock to mine. It would make way more sense. I don't know why it freaks me out. It's weird. <laughs> oh, it's noon here. Oh yeah, I read that one. New viewer here with weird question. Does the dish shell on the microwave keep your cabinets clean from the exhaust? Bethel. Oh, I love your name, Bethel. Um, Tracy, yes. <laughs> I was just saying at the beginning of this video, that is my redneck, um, that is my redneck exhaust cover because this microwave, the exhaust comes out the top and it sprays all over, this grease comes all over my ceiling and my cabinets. So we put this on, watch, and it blows up like that and catches the grease. <laughs> Ingenuity. <laughs> and it's so attractive. Whenever we have people over for dinner, I yank it down and I tell my husband, don't put that back up, please. And he always does. And it, it's just the ugliest thing and it's so yellow. For, but that just shows you all that junk was going on my cabinets.
my cabinets are cheap and junk anyway, so I don't really care, but he did. So, all right. <clears throat> this is what I've been doing every day for iced tea, you guys. I leave it sitting out all day and I drink it because I put it in ice. So I, I brew a hot cup of water with my uh, Keurig thing and I pour it over four um, Zinger tea bags. This is, there's a cherry and three blueberry in this one because that's what I had left. And I let it brew for like all day. I just leave it sitting there. And then I, when it, after like an hour, I fill this up with water. And then I just leave the tea bags in there. I took them out last night, but I just leave them in there. And I have some super sweet in there and I just pour it over my ice all day. I drank one and a half of these yesterday. I'm gonna have to make more this morning. But, and then I have fresh brewed iced tea all day to sip on. Sometimes I'll make a sipper or some water, but I like my fresh brewed iced tea in my cool cup that I got from Walmart for $3. Okay, six minutes. Well, else do you wanna know? <laughs> I have nothing to talk about this morning. <laughs> so somebody better ask me a question or this is going to be a really awkward stare. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> I'm going to get the nervous giggles. Oh, we're just going to just stand here. I could close my cabinet doors. <laughs> looking at all my ramen noodles yeah I thought it was a pretty genius tool Lucille <laughs> oh, the weather is 16 degrees it's warm for January very warm for January usually it's 20 30 below but it's 16 so yeah uh, how's my new blender? My new blender hasn't come yet, Prosperous. It's going to be here Monday and I'm dying. I can't wait to get it. And I'll introduce her to all of you. I'm going to have to name her. I'm thinking of naming her Beth, Betty. Bethy, Betty? I don't know. we got to come up with a name. I mean, I named my my sourdough starter is Clint Yeastwood. So i got to have a name for my blender. I don't know. I'll figure it out. My new, how do you make the cappuccino? I have a link for that, Twyla. I can post, it's actually on my page repeatedly. If you uh, search the KJ page, it's, I've posted a hundred times, but I can post it again, it's really good. PPP is not in the new book, it's just on their page. The link to it is in this post. Stephanie, yes, you can use regular tea bags. I'll show you what I use, if I still have any. just zinger tea it comes in a million flavors there's a package um, that's like a variety pack that I buy it has peach it has blueberry it has cherry raspberry so I just brew the, the the lemon zinger I use in my sippers but you could make tea out of it I mean just plain tea out of it too and there's no sugar nothing in it are you originally from Maine I am I've lived here my whole life. I was born and raised in the county, which is two hours north. It's a rustic county. It's called the county. And I was born and raised there. I've lived down central Maine for 21 years now. But uh, yeah, I'm a Mainer. Mainer. I don't talk like a Mainer. I hear a lot that I have an accent. However, if I really talked with a Maine accent, you would know it. So I'd be talking with a I don't even know if I can do it. I say my car was parked in the garage out there, you know, out there in the dooryard with the, you know, the turkeys and the deer. They're out there walking around and I'm just in here making my poop porridge. That's how I'd walk, talk if I really talk like I was from Maine. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> I probably wouldn't sound that stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's dark. It just, the sun just came up here, Mariana. It was dark until about half an hour ago. Uh, 
keeping the cabinet clean is the main reason I don't have a microwave over the stove. Yeah, this is the first microwave over a stove when we moved into this house and I don't love that it does that, but we need a new microwave because this one's cracked so bad from slamming the door. <laughs> There's cracks all over it, so we're all getting radiation poisoning. <laughs> Paige, is this tea special or you can use Lipton? I'm not sure I would call it special. It's just celestial seasonings. It's just basic old tea. It's nothing fancy. No, you can get it right at the grocery store. You should be able to find like a million different flavors of celestial seasonings. I like the fruit ones. I don't drink hot tea usually. Not a big fan. I like the cinnamon hot tea, but that's about it. I have not been able to find holiday teas prosperous. I wanted to get the sugar cookie and the sleigh ride, those ones, but nope, they didn't have them here. They didn't have them here. Your accent reminds me of my family in Ohio. <laughs> you remind me a lot of my... I have relatives in Ohio. I have relatives in Arnton. Ironton. Arnton, Ohio. The, the, um, my Aunt Connie, who is now passed, lived in um, Ironton and was from Maine. So maybe we're related to the same people. Maybe we're long lost cousins. Sangria, Christina, are you serious? They have a sangria zinger? Okay, I'm going to the store today to buy that. I should mix oolong tea in with my fruit. Why, is there a bet? Oh, because it's supposed to help you um, lose weight. I do have some oolong, I think. Do I? Oh my gosh, look what I just found, my oats. <laughs> I knew I wasn't using quick cut oats. I knew I wasn't. <laughs> Those ones are for the no-bake cookies for the family. Well, <laughs> let's hope it still comes out right because I screwed it up. Oh man, <laughs> I can't believe I just found that. <laughs> oh, they don't have celestial seasonings. And where'd you say you were, Christina? Where'd you say you are, Christina, that you don't have celestial seasonings? Can all of us people on here? mail you some celestial seasonings that's sad that you don't have celestial seasonings are you a thm coach <laughs> no i'm not somebody asked me that yesterday i don't know maybe i'll do that oh <gasps> it's done they don't have celestial seasonings in the uk isn't that like fancy tea people over there they must have don't they have like tea every day in england at two or something you don't have you have just fancy people tea Okay. All right. It's time to unveil the no snot porridge. I'm nervous that it's going to be snotty and then everybody's going to be like, see, even she's bad at it. But it's not. It's perfect. Okay. Show you first. It's still cold on the bottom. Somebody said they don't like the cold. You can nuke it here. I like the cold on the bottom of my hot porridge. I, I like the hot and cold. So, see how it doesn't stick to my finger? It's spongy. If it were snotty when I did this, it would stick, it's not, see? Perfect poop porridge, perfect. Let's get a spoon. It smells like an oatmeal cookie. I love it. So when I cut into this, it should almost cut like a crumble, not a crumble. Um, what am I trying to say? Not a crumble, but a, um, <laughs> spongy, not sponge. <laughs> Whoa. Um, what, what, what do they call it? Not crumble, but um, 
cobbler. Jeepers, that was a big word for the morning here. A cobbler. It should kind of cut like a cobbler, and it does. It cuts into a perfect. I want some fruit, my frozen fruit underneath. See? There's no, there's very little jiggle factor. My pizza are still frozen. When you make it with blueberries, I gotta crunch up my peaches. When you make it with blueberries, there's a ton of juice. So when you reach down in there, there's blueberry juice underneath. But the peaches, I'm gonna nuke it for a few seconds because they're frozen. If I cut them, I should have chopped them up in my ninja wizard thingy. But either way, no matter what you're sticking in it for fruit, if it's small enough, it will thaw. And if it doesn't, eat it frozen and stop your whining. <laughs> or be like me and just microwave it. <laughs> All right, good enough. Okay. There, there. It's warmer on the bottom now. My peaches are firm anyway, these frozen peaches, but there is some peach juice underneath there. So yeah, see how it's like, I can cut into it and it comes nicely into a spoonful. See that? It's not snotty. It sticks to your spoon. Whoop. <laughs> or does it? You could add whey or collagen. I think I don't know what it would do to the cooking texture. I'm not gonna say I know because I don't. But I know oatmeal, steel cut oats and all that has a lot of protein. So you could also just drink it with a protein milk. Like add some whey, some flavored whey to your almond milk and have that with it or have a collagen tea. A little tea, spot of tea with your porridge. But anyway, see? I, I keep doing that because I keep thinking it's going to stick to my spoon. But it's not snotty at all. Not even a little bit. There's no snot factor to this. Because I whisked the fear of God into it. It's afraid to be snotty because it knows I will kick its butt. See? That is how you make poop porridge. I'll post a picture of it. Looking perfect. It's really good with the peaches, you guys. So, all right. I hope you found my obnoxious tutorial helpful and that you go make some poop porridge. Bonnie, I can't wait to see your porridge. Oh my gosh, my daughter is starting a homeschool class in 10, 20 minutes and I totally forgot to wake her up. I gotta go get my kid up for school. She's starting an anime drawing class today and I totally forgot. So, all right. Have a wonderful day, you guys. I'm going to go eat my poop porridge and then I'm probably going to poop. <laughs> I'm kidding, kidding. That was a bad joke. Nasty, nasty, KJ. Uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a wonderful day. I can't wait to see your poop porridge experiments and see how they go. So, all right. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Love you guys. Bye.